So despite being placed in the US entity lost, Huawei's business was functioning as usual. The main reason for that is the majority of Huawei's smartphone sales happened in China and the ban had absolutely no impact in that country because Google services are already banned in China. Yes, their business in the US was totally crippled but Huawei the group and started focusing more on China and as a result of that they were growing as usual. However, recently the US government imposed another restriction where they prevented TSMC which produces chips set for Huawei from supplying their chips to Huawei chip division. This means Huawei cannot make their current chipset which also means that this is the beginning of the end for Huawei as a consumer business group. By the way, Huawei is turning to alternative chip producing companies. I will come to that in a moment. But for now, Huawei is preparing for the worst and intent on a building a large inventory of a memory chips at a safety net. Although the US restriction doesn't apply to memory chip manufacturers and also Huawei is reportedly fearing that the US government will eventually extend its restriction to include memory chips as well. And that is the reason Huawei... So that is why Huawei asked Samsung and SK Hynix for a stable memory chip supply and wants to build a large inventory of RAM and storage solutions before the US extend the restrictions on memory chip which it will totally cripple their smartphone business. This is good news for Samsung as this will improve the company's memory market share will also boost the revenues. Huawei is now turning to MediaTek chipset for use in their smartphones. MediaTek is the world's second biggest chipset maker after Qualcomm. Now some of you might ask why not use Qualcomm chips instead since they are superior. Well they can't use because Qualcomm is an American company and they need to follow the US government regulations so they are turning to media tech chips instead adopting rival chips is a knock against Huawei's competitiveness but then again they don't have much choice here but hold on even though media tech doesn't fall under the US regulations for now since it is a Taiwanese company but Trump administration said they will monitor whether the export rules need to be changed further and for the escalation in trade war will make them change the export rules which will make even media tech come under the US regulations just like TSMC which is a Taiwanese company as well by the way Huawei can't use Exynos processor or Samsung's boundary to make current chipset because the rule that applies to TSMC applied to Samsung as well so basically Huawei has no good options left and if the escalation continues then Huawei will have no choice but to totally close their consumer business which is certainly not not good for the competitive nature on the smartphone market. Huawei is the number two smartphone player with the kind of growth they were having quarter over quarter. It was certain that at some point they were going to beat Samsung for the number one for the number one spot, which was forcing Samsung to be competitive and bring out the great product to market. But the US government doesn't want Huawei to exist, which means if things don't improve, then we will lose the second biggest smartphone company. Nearly over 200,000 people will lose their jobs, and most importantly, we will lose some of the competitive nature of the smartphone market. So please click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will never miss our updates.